Hello and welcome everyone. I'm your host, John Armas, otherwise known as Ace Bullion. I hope you guys are having a happy Monday, or at least this is going to be a start to your happy Monday. Uh, anyway, Martin, the Silver Trader, sent me in some lovely coins for me to cast my eyes on and to give you my honest thoughts and opinions. And that I will. I'm looking forward to this. So if you like what you see and you want to buy any of these, head on over to the silvertrader.uk, where of course you can find them. If you're new as a customer, tell them, you know, Ace Bullion sent you and said hi. Also check out the links down below. We can find a link to the Precious Metal Forum, as well as the silvertrader.uk. And finally, my own personal website, acebullion.co.uk or acebullion.com. Um, and uh, well, here we go. So, first off, we're going to start off with the Royal Coat of Arms 2024. Um, now, this is uh, one of those coins that I have collected and I shall show you um, since, well, Queen Elizabeth had passed. Uh, this is the sixth coin in the series. Um, and uh, as you can see here, uh, we have a nice portrait of King Charles uh, done by Martin Jennings. Um, and, uh, yep, it is a coin, has a two pound denomination as well. Um, so there we go. As we flip it over, we will see the Royal Coat of Arms. I'm going to have to study myself. I'm sorry. Um, and, uh, we have down below one ounce of fine silver, uh, three nines fine there. And we get the Coat of Arms showing very nice along with the date just above 2024 with the lion, the unicorn, everything is there, the shield, the crest. It really is just a lovely uh, coin to have. Now, as I said, I collected the first two, um, so I'll, I'll show those in just a second. But uh, this design here was done by Timothy Node, um, who, well, he first started it in 2019. And, well... I have to say for the Royal uh, Mint, it's a superb product. Um, it does have its flaws. Be warned, there are warnings on the Silver Traders website that clearly state um, that, uh, of course, you know, you need to be careful. Typical, normal Royal Mint, um, you know, stuff, you know, has occurred. So here's the first two that I have. Um, and I have them alongside, obviously, the, uh, well, I got a whole bunch of royal royalty stuff. So I got the 2022, which has the Queen Elizabeth um, on. And, of course, then I went and I bought the 23, which was the first one to have King Charles on. That's my primary reason for buying them, but, because uh, it also fits, with, you know, amongst my set. Although, I think I may have to backtrack and get the others in the series um i've just actually pulled the lid off sadly of my box but that's one of those things um but uh yeah you can see here i have a whole bunch of royalty coins and the likes and you know also some odin stuff but um yeah these here are the ones that are superb in my opinion i, I just absolutely love them well we're gonna flip it now around, I will remove this because we're going to be focusing next on two very special Germania coins. In fact, we're talking about the Valkyrie series, which is it started off with this little one here, and then it moved on to this one here. So this is now the one I'm going to show you. It's the third in the series. And uh, once I move this away, hopefully the camera won't be as blurry um, or out of focus. And then we can, you know, focus on the coin itself. So, first off, you get a COA, as always. Um, and uh, so this is number three in the series. Let's just zoom in a little bit more and touch. And there we go. And, of course, you get the basics, you know, that this is an official... Uh, coin it's not coin uh remember it is just around it's four nines fine and it's the bu 
These are limited to 25,000. Um, there are other ones that are limited to just 999. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, now on the back here, we have the typical Germania um, emblem and logo and all of that. Now I'm not quite sure actually if the previous, oh no, the previous ones were different. I, see, I've forgotten all about that. So this one here has a bear on it because I noticed it was a bit different, but I wasn't too sure why. So we got a bear on that one. And then if we take a look at well, last year's first, we have the, well, there's an elk on the back of that one. And then we take a look at the first one in the series, which uh, I did some really silly animations with it. I would have thought there'd be a, a wolf. Oh, no, it is a wolf. So, okay, it is. That's right. There's elk, the wolf. Sorry, I thought both of them were the same for a second there. So that's why there's a bear here. Because we're talking, of course, about um, the Valkyries. And I'm going to get the second part of this wrong. Uh, Solveig. Yeah, that's as far as I'm going, guys. Um, which is the sun goddess. And, of course, she has her trusty bear by her side. Um, I just can't pronounce her name. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, but we will... I'll make it up by showing you really close details here. Um, it has some really nice gloss finishes in some rather interesting areas as well. But, you know, hey, it has gloss finishes. Uh, you can see there the bear, which is really super hard to focus in on. Trying to get the right light, but it's really hard because a big grizzly bear, you can tell that because uh, the shape, it's not, you know, a little small brown bear or anything. These are big grizzly bears. You wouldn't want to mess with them. Nice touch there, the sun over this forest. Um, I think that's rather spectacular. Uh, she's looking rather nice, just staring off on the side. Um, holding on to, well, a massive axe there, as you can see, and... You know, <laughs> that will be cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, that is for the third in the series, you know, 2024 here is superb. does have a reeded edge, by the way. Um, didn't mention that there. I just have to say, yeah, I forgot I'm collecting it. And it was only till I looked at the Royal Coat of Arms and looked underneath that I realized that I'm actually collecting this series. I thought, I, you know, I finished with it. But no, 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 no. Here's me. I'm collecting it. I've been collecting a whole bunch of Germania um, stuff since it first came out. In fact, one of the first proofs is... Oh, goodness me. Is this one? It's one of the first proof Germania ones. And, uh, yeah, rather special, that one. Um, and, uh, of course, then there's some others, weird and wonderful, you know, beastie creatures and stuff like that that I have. So, really nice to see that Germania are back on form with this. Glad that it's out. Um, I like it. What's your thoughts, in, you know, what are your thoughts and opinions? Um, and, uh, yeah, please share them down below. I respond to every comment. Don't forget that, you know, we are doing a big giveaway. We're still on the race to 5K. Um, so, you know, share these videos around. There's uh, an entry video for everyone to enter. You get a free entry. The draw is going to happen regardless. So you might as well enter. Um, and uh, if you join up on the Precious Metal Forum, there's a special draw just for uh, Precious Metal Forum members there. So, um, and that's growing larger and larger. So... There we are, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's two coin, two special video. And uh, I shall see you very, very soon. So have a fantastic day. Bye bye.